above and beyond the call, you know. Yeah, well, that's what I thought when the alarm went off this morning. Be in Southampton by lunchtime. Help Mandy pack a couple of Caleb's things, stick him in the back of the van, and we'll all be back in our own little beds by midnight. You don't think we should have let them know we were coming? Nope. I think the best chance we've got is to take Caleb by surprise. And wait for Mandy to persuade him. She'll be there for months. What exactly is wrong with him? Heart condition. Seems to need Mandy waiting on him and him. But... And you want him to move in with you? No, I want my wife back, Adam. And this is what I have to do to make her happy. She must be very devoted to him. To keep her away all this time. She's like that. Yeah, well... I don't think I would give up everything to look after a sick relative. No. Which is why I married her and not you. Morning. Can I help myself with some breakfast? Yeah, of course you can. Who's that for? Would you get a sock in his old age? My daughter. Oh, no. Nice. I was hoping that they could come and stay here. It'd be a bit crowded, wouldn't it? Yeah, well, I didn't imagine that Richie would be using this as a DOS house for his homeless friends. Sarah, I'm very grateful for you putting me up. Victoria's coming to stay tonight. I would appreciate it if you kept out the way. Right. You won't hear me. I'll be as quiet as a mouse. I mean, what kind of example are you setting them? Under my own roof. What is it about this place? If Donna's underage, I would have thought she'd have learned from her sister. Oh, she's not like that. It's not like that between us. Look, it's a hard enough time for the boys. I cannot be a father to them and worry about keeping you in check. I won't bring her back here again. No, you won't. Because I cannot be responsible for you, Mark. That was never part of the deal. No. I think you should go home. To your mum and dad. What? Now. Today. Oh, come on, Jack. Give us another chance. Look, I won't let you down. It's for your own good, son. I've got a family. And so have you. You're missing out. It's for the best. Definitely be. What is that? Pull out for a dating agency. You're planning a holiday. As she turns his back for a minute, and there you are, lining up the next one. Would your ideal partner consult you before booking that last-minute romantic break for two? Any chance of a hand around here? Or are you just going to stand there eating that all day? See, I think. Morning! Oh, Trisha! Your ideal partner is sporty, but interested in literature. Mm. Thank you. Mum? You and Trisha are both spoken for. I'm happy on my own, and it's all rubbish anyway. It's not me I was thinking of, actually. It's for Cathy. Why? Well, we did say we we're going to try and set her up. Quite a lot of use that'll be. All we have to do is question a few blokes, match their answers with hers, and get together with the most suitable. You are joking. Oh, well, sounds like a brilliant idea. I've heard everything now. Those things aren't meant to be taken seriously, aren't they? Well, it's a start, isn't it? And to be honest, I don't know how else we're going to find Kathy a boyfriend round here. Where now? I don't recognise any of this. Great. Um. Hold on. Turn left here. Uh, oh. Oh, just ring Mandy and she can talk us in from here. Spoil it. Spoil what? I, I just... I, I just want it to be a surprise when we turn up, that's all. Been in Southampton more than she's been with you lately, hasn't she? Yes. Taylor's been pretty ill, Adam. And you've never wondered if it isn't him that's the big attraction? Well, what else would there be? Uh, I don't know. See ya. We should come on me all now, you're right. Oh, hang on. Oh, hang on, this is getting pretty familiar. That's it, that's it! Dose. Am I going to live with Mimi forever now? No, just tonight. I'll be picking you up tomorrow. Which one are you taking? Both. Oh, right. She haven't gone yet, then. What are you two doing home? I thought we'd come on for lunch. See Victoria off. I'm going to live with Mummy. Just for the night, because we'd miss you if you went for any longer, wouldn't we? Should we go get some books to take? Yes. Come on. 
You shouldn't have come home from school. Well, we just got talking about it. And then Rob said about what if she doesn't come home. Well, of course she'll come home. Well, what if Sarah tries to keep her? Well, it's getting too close to the court hearings. You don't want to do anything stupid at this stage. Are you sure about that? Right, we all set. Can we go now? Yeah, we'll get in the car, shall we? Can we get the door? Don't want me to wait in the van. No, I might need you with me in case Caleb gets violent. What? I'm joking, come on. Here we go. Yes? Caleb, I, I, I thought you were meant to be bedridden. I can answer my own front door, can't I? Is Mandy in? Mandy? Who wants to know? Paddy. It, it's Paddy. I'm, your son-in-law. We have met. What the flipping heck are you doing down here, then? Um, do you think we could come in at all? Aye. I suppose you'd better add. You sure you're going to be all right, look? I'll be fine. You don't have to do this if you don't want to, you know. You can always go home. Hello. Mummy! Oh! Mwah. Hello. People from license. <laughs> and it's Forky. By about a length or so. Right. To Camden Moon, and We're going to need a fleet of trucks to move this lot. What? Oh, just say how good it is that you're looking so well. I should be running round in my condition. I could peg it any minute. Who's your friend? Uh, Adam. Hi. He's from the vet. And Come to put me down, have you? <laughs> uh, we thought we might find you packed and ready to go, actually. Go where? Did Mandy not mention it? We were hoping that you'd think about moving up north with us so that we could look after you properly if you were nearer. Must be mad. Do you think I'd let Zach Dingle and his thieving brood anywhere near this lot? No, I suppose not. <clears throat> Is Mandy in then? What's in it for you anyway? Just won't be there so you can get your hands on my pension, I shouldn't wonder. Mandy not here, then. She's just nipped out to the shop, has she? Haven't had a cup of tea since yesterday dinner. Right, well, uh, why don't I stick the kettle on and uh, you two can catch up on all the news. So, uh, I'll just go and give Adam a nap. And you'll have a bedroom of your own. She's got that at home. Let's do some colouring. I've got you some new crayons. You don't have to wait, Jack. She's fine. Hello, Victoria. What are you doing here? Don't worry, I'm on my way out. See you, Jack. I'm back in time for my tea. What the hell's going on? Jack. Never mind that. How many young men have you got stashed away here? He's only here for a couple of nights. Well, if I'd known about this, I never would have agreed. Please don't do this to me now. Victoria. Jack. I'll pick her up tomorrow. Eight o'clock. Make sure she's ready. Thank you. Bye-bye, love. Daddy will pick you up tomorrow. Bye. Look after her. Cleared up by now. 
she probably had a handful with Caleb. Um, I don't think it's going to be as easy as we thought getting him up north. Can I make a confession? What? Don't take this the wrong way. Well, Mandy's been away so much, I start to wonder if she made the illness up. Well, as a kind of alibi. What are you on about? Alibi? What for? Nothing. Forget it. it. Sounds ridiculous now I say it. <laughs> Man, you are. <laughs> uh, look, I, I better get back in there in case he thinks we're robbing the place. And, um, don't, um, boil the kettle twice. <laughs> Hi. Donna's for you. Hi. Hello, Mark. Why don't you snuggle up on the sofa next to Donna? Mom? Go on, Kelly, move up. Let the lovebirds sit together. Lovebirds now, is it? You've changed your tune. You're Donna's first serious relationship. Sharp! I expect you've had quite a few girlfriends in your time. Good looking lad like you. Do you want a drink? Yeah. And one for Emily, she's in the shop on her own. What's all with you? Nothing. Jack's kicked me out. I'm going back to my folks. It's, it's going to make it a bit harder for me and you two, you know. Well, who says I want to? What, after last night? I thought you came round here to see how I was feeling. Yeah, I did. But how are you feeling? You're all the same, you. Every one of you. I'm off upstairs to do my homework. Well, what about Mark? He's going home. Let's take that off if it hurts. What do you think? Nice. Do you want to stay up late? And we'll play games. And then when you're tired, I'll take you upstairs and tuck you off in bed and read your stories. OK. You know, I think this is the best picture that I have ever seen. I think we'll hang it up right there so everybody can see it. But you can't. Why not? It's beautiful. It's for Daddy. Oh. I see. Why don't I go and make you some tea? Come on, Sean. We're going to be late. We should be there by now. Hiya. Hiya. What are you doing here? Don't know. I just... Got a bit fed up being at Jack's. You coming out? Yeah, well, for a bit anyway. Right, all set. Look, he's here. All right, Dad. We've let your room out, you know. Don't listen to him. Well, you picked a night. We're supposed to be going to a party. Sean? It's work. I've got to be there. Well, have fun. Oh, Angie, don't leave me to face that lot on my own. I wouldn't know what to say. Sean, I can't go tonight. What kind of a welcome home would that be? Uh, I don't mind. Go on. You only have to stay for one drink and you can come home. I shall get overtime for this. <laughs> Mark, welcome home, son. I'll see you later. See you. Haven't got any food in. Do you fancy a pub dinner? We can catch up? Uh, yeah, if you like. I'll go and get changed. How much longer do you think she'll be? Useless. Anything could have happened to me with them not being gone all that time. Them? They're on the nurse. What nurse? Comes in every day. Meant to. Called a carer. That what they're supposed to care about is anybody's guess. How long has this been going on for? Since I got bad. Here. Yeah. And why is Mandy needed to come down then? So Neil can have a bit of a break. So she says. Neil? So this care is a... a bloke? Didn't you know? And they've gone out shopping, have they? Shopping? Who said out about shopping? Went out last night, the pair of them. What? Made me tea, shoved me in front of telly, swanned off into town, and that's the last I saw of him. You haven't seen Mandy since last night? Why didn't you say so? Never asked. She hasn't called. I could be laid dying on my bed, and she would not have a clue. 
And she could be lying in a ditch put there by this Neil bloke and you wouldn't have a clue. Where did they go? For the Chinese. Never have to ring one back for me, though, did they? Mandy went out last night with this bloke and that's the last you saw of them. Aye, and I'll be letting them know how I feel about it and all the minute they get back. There's always the ads in the back of the courier. Escort services. What kind of girl do you think Cappy is? Fairly lonely at the rate we are going. Here, what about? No. no. Why not? He likes Cathy. There's no harm in trying. Trisha. Oh, Mum. Hello. Pint, please, Diane. You all right? Uh, Victoria's staying at her mum's tonight. That'll be nice for her. She'd bought her presents and she'd be spoiling her rotten, trying to get her undivided attention. What's so bad about that? Will she want to come home again? If you were in the running for a partner, what kind of woman would she be? Just curious. <laughs> I'm busy. Oh, go on. Well, she should be um, intelligent, independently wealthy, have an interest in antiques, politics, and men of experience. Uh, and uh, did I mention uh, incredibly beautiful? Blonde? Um, it wouldn't count against her. I always think it's best to have crushes on people in your own league. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hmm. Next time I see Edna Birch, I'll let her know you're in the market. Thank you. Here we are. Right, go on then. What are you having? Which is this set up like? Well, it's Tara, so it had to be a palace. Well, what do you think? I think I need a drink. I've not brought the lovely Angie tonight. Oh, she was lucky enough to have a prior engagement. Oh, and well, she weren't. But do you like it? My house would have been cheaper to decorate. Oh, what no one seems to quite appreciate is that it is an investment. Oh. What, big sofa, a couple of pictures, and all of a sudden all your old money posh pals want to do business? Money attracts money. It's not so very hard to follow, is it? It's for me, you see. I never had that much to worry about. Excuse me. Oh, this one's vegetarian, this one is, and this one over here definitely isn't. This is all rather good. Didn't sound so surprised. Saw what you charged her. You could have asked double. Could I? Don't worry, I'll stand you in good stead. What do you want to see me about? Not having fun, then. This place is a total waste of time and money. Not too keen on Tara, are you? Well, luckily, our paths don't cross that often. Well, I'm afraid that's, that's about to change. Not if I can help it. Someone's got to take charge of the studs' transport arrangements. You've got me here for that. I don't know anything about horses. Well, it's about time you started learning. I've already told her that you'll do it. Oh, I can't be that awful to work with, surely. Excuse me. I've wasted enough time already tonight. Well, that's it then. We're going to have to call the police. What for? Because your daughter my wife has been out all night with a complete stranger and you don't seem to think there's a problem. There's a problem, all right. There's nothing the police can sort out. Adam, just shut up for one minute, will you? Just while I try and work out what exactly has been going on here. It'll take a genius. <laughs> there's a perfectly innocent explanation for all this. And all there is. All right, fine. So where the hell are they then? And you're absolutely positive that you're not married? I just think it's something I would have remembered. And um, what do you think of girls round here, Ben? Very nice. Pleasant company, especially. All right. <laughs> He's far too good to be true. Somebody better ask him that G-A-Y question. Mm. I'm not, as it happens. But I'm a bit confused as to where this might be heading. 
bloke comes in for a quiet drink and gets mobbed by the Inquisition. This is nice, isn't it? How do you fancy popping back tomorrow? Say, about eight o'clock? Sure. Don't see why not. It is my local. Excellent. Should you be bringing me to the pub? Maybe an underage and that? I'd like to have a drink you're eating. Oh, well, I'll have a pint then. Mm, don't push your luck. Why today, Mark? Why have you come home now? Do you like the way Jack had my shirts? Did you and him fall out? No. Well, a bit, yeah. Why? Well, it's nothing, really. You don't have to tell me. It was about me seeing Donna. He, he didn't really approve. That's it? Yeah. Good. Well, he might not have shown it, but your dad's as pleased to have you home as I am. Half a lager. Paddy? God for that. I wouldn't go out there if I were you. It'd be ridiculous. Neil, please don't do this to me. Melody, please. All I'm asking is for you to give us a chance. You know it could work. There is no us. There never will be. I'm married. Well, then what was last night all about? And today? You weren't thinking about him then, were you? All this time we've had. Last night. Dinner. Everything. You were supposed to be goodbye. Must have meant something to you. It did. And the moment I realised that, I should have stopped it, but I couldn't. I just wanted to be with you. Then stay with me. I can't. I love Paddy. He needs me. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, my God. Paddy. <laughs> 